Hello, Buzzcuts! My name is Hotzosti and welcome back to Beltless Factory, where we have loads of rails. And in the last episode, we managed to put in quite a bit of additional rails. And in the meantime, I also managed to complete this line down here. Uh, if you remember, we still had some copper smelting there. Copper field is empty, so the smelting could be removed as well. And looking at this iron patch, uh, that's the last one where we are, are actually picking up iron ore. These, as well as the steel smelting here, will also be gone soon. Actually, for steel, I have already removed the delivery uh, stations. So once the steel is picked up, we can remove this one. And then we have still this steel production up here, which um, at least at the moment seems to cope with, with the demand. However, what is not coping is our need for iron because up here we have three stations and they are constantly occupied with trains loading um, and uh, trains not being able to go where they want to and this is a problem because we do have enough copper wire, but we need quite a bit more uh, circuits because in today's episode we want to turn our attentions to modules. Uh, we have quite a good setup for our factories in the meantime. Um, and as you can see here, some of them have run full, not all of them, but some. Um, but if we want to produce signs in quite high numbers, now uh, we can actually look here. Um, of course, we have not researched anything in the last, I would say, 200 hours. But you can see, uh, maybe the more expensive signs, they are at around one pack per minute. And that will not do. I would like to see... Um, something like usually i go for one science per pack per second but uh, i thought in this series i want to be a bit more uh, ambitious and uh, go for a higher number how high that number will eventually be we will have to see uh, but for that we need um, better production and one way to scale up is just add more factories and with this modular design it should not be a problem um, but especially here we also could do with a bit of, uh, of productivity uh, because I think especially for the for the green circuits um, one of the problem that that we have is that we produce the uh, circuits faster than we can insert or deliver the items so a bit of productivity here would probably help we get more output and at the same time slow the, the whole thing down a bit uh, and that should even out the, the delivery 
bottleneck. And then of course we can add uh, more factories for that. Right, so this one also seems to have run out of uh, steel. So let's collect all this. And uh, then we will hook up a new iron field. We have one big one there and one big one down here, which is uh, tied together with a couple, which makes it a bit um, uncomfortable to mine. So I think we will go with that one. And looking at the setup that we have here, what I found quite nice is basically here we have this larger square and I think it would be ideal to have a, such a large square and then have basically nine smaller squares in there a bit offset so that basically the, the delivery lines especially the, the vertical um, ones uh, are not directly hooked up to to the main line here uh, because here we basically have the the pickup going on to the main line which can cause issues especially if uh, this would be a factory that has uh, a high frequency so I think up here we will start with with a layout that can accommodate that and for that I think we shall have basically um, four squares counting on the main line and then we can place three squares in and that should bring us uh, somewhere in in this area and uh, then we can hook up this this iron field probably need to have a look in this area to make sure no nasties are there uh, and then we can actually start worrying a bit more about modules as we can see from the map here, the space here vertically is not quite sufficient to get in three squares without hitting these ore fields. But I think with scaling up our production, these fields will be gone faster than the original ones. Oops, they are not gone. So. Let's see which field will be gone first. Um, we have uncovered one nest up here with our additional radars. And I think I will first place in the uh, smelting mining setup before then trying to hook up the rails to it. Um, I think that's, that's the easier way to do it. And I think we can have one on this side, one on this side, one at the top. And then this copper field is also almost empty, however, still producing. This one is still going strong, but probably we will then also have to sink out but hooking that one up but maybe not in this episode because uh, I really want to get to modules so let's get the ore field out of the way so we have all the iron that we need for now hopefully this iron mine and smelting setup will settle our supply pr supply problems for iron uh, it's quite good going. I have spaced the 
the furnace rays a bit farther out so that uh, we hopefully have less uh, conflict uh, than we have down here where it gets a bit of a, of a tight squeeze. Um, but yeah, so let's focus on uh, modules. And we already have one factory for productivity one. Uh, and we, I'm thinking we don't need the efficiency modules. They are only used in uh, recipes uh, um, for uh, armor and so on. So nothing that we will craft in, in huge amounts. So can do that by hand. However, uh, to scale up, we will probably need quite a few speed modules and also some productivity modules. So the way I was thinking is we will just copy the setup for the productivity modules and change it to the speed modules one. And then we will have one uh, factory set up where we deliver all the goods to create the modules 2 and the modules 3 and um, basically if we manage to have a clever setup we can then basically combine the one factory for uh, the speed modules and the productivity modules because uh, circuit wise they're using the same thing. They only have different module uh, requirements there. And we do not need to pick up those modules. So this will then be a similar case like this one, where we deliver, but then just store the products in here. And uh, I don't think we need the intermediary uh, products either so let's see here um, we have cleaned out a new square here so we can copy map mode we can copy this set up here and probably I'm missing a few ingredients. Um, where am I down here? So let's align it. Yeah. Um, I did pick up quite a few things, but I guess I don't have enough. Uh, assemblers. Uh, lucky thing here is that uh, ingredient setup that's that's the same uh, but let's rename that to speed module delivery. We can have a dedicated train going but here filters and so on will all be the same. And um, even with, with this armor, having that many robots going, one fusion reactor uh, drains quickly. So let's copy that over here and then finish the job. And uh, set all the, all the recipes. And then we probably need trains for delivery because for um, the productivity modules we have one train going which is standing there for what's felt like an eternity. But if we look in here, ooh, we are quite backed up here on this lane. 
on this lane. So here we had quite a bit of uh, off deliveries going on. Apparently not in the in the top delivery. But let me finish this build, set all the all the recipes in the assembler, add the missing assembler, and uh, then we can have an actual look at the more interesting aspect of this whole setup, um, namely um, the modules uh, two and three. And this one also wants to be speed module speed module um, we don't need the one in here but maybe we want to have an icon there right and here of course we need to change this as well Right, now uh, I will finish that part and then we can see where we place the, the rest. This is how the final setup looks like and I had to resort to uh, uh, cars once again so that I can properly line here the output line so we can have these going side by side. Um, initially I thought unloading with a long-handed uh, inserter, but of course I cannot set filters on those and we need two different items uh, out of here. So all in all i think we are good and we can proceed with uh, with adding some some trains so let's add one here and then i think this one the first one that will be for the uh for the for the circuits so we will go waiting for red circuits waiting waiting where are they waiting red circuits and we go for the red circuits we have quite a few stations in the meantime and we go waiting blue circuits waiting blue circuits and then we pick up blue circuits then before unloading we go to train fueling train fueling and then we go to uh, this this one we can do that with shift click right so the blue ones stack to a hundred so we will have 2000 of those that's two rows and then we will have 2,000 of the red ones, which will be one row. So we will not fill up the, the cargo wagon completely, 
So we do not need to set filters. Um, here we want to wait for five seconds to fuel up and then here um, empty cargo or two minutes of inactivity. Right. That should be good. Um, let's fuel that with a bit of wood. Okay, then the next one. Add the wood in there. This one is easier. We want to go here. We want to go train fueling. And then we want to go there. So here on the fuel stop, uh, we wait five seconds. Um, here we wait full cargo. And then here we have uh, empty cargo or two minutes of inactivity. Right? And off you go. And then the last train here. Uh, that will be almost a simple go there fuel stop and there fuel stop um, time past five seconds full cargo empty cargo or two minutes of inactivity and off you go. And this one, oh, this one is in the way. things but there we have the setup nice and easy and uh, hopefully producing all the modules that we will need and with that with the modules out of the way then we can uh, focus next time on more research towards the, the rocket or more precisely rocket units rocket control units which need the speed modules one so uh, that was another reason to have a dedicated factory for speed module ones but not for the higher tiers so hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please consider leaving a like and uh, do not forget to hit the subscribe button to see how we move on with the control units until then goodbye